And you niggas that was out there spoiling the shit just for the hell of it, because y'all think the shit's funny. Like, all of y'all, y'all was raised wrong. Y'all just pieces of shit, and y'all all gonna die in a fire. Hey, before you watch this video, please share it and like it so that more people can see it, so I'll have a reason to keep doing these videos. I did see the movie, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to do, not necessarily a review on the movie, but definitely a character analysis. I'll go through each character or each prominent character, and then based on that last movie to now, I'll pretty much just say how I feel about them now. So I'm not gonna waste no more time. Let's get started on this shit. Hawkeye, the movie starts with him, and by the end of this movie, you start to really feel for Hawkeye. He goes through a complete character arc. His story is tragic. It sucks, but by the end of it, you're like, you know what? I can understand where you're coming from. So they made him go from a character that you kind of care about to a character that you really fucking care about. And I loved it. I loved every bit of what they did with Hawkeye. Captain Marvel. I mean, you're still a bitch. You weren't overused. Eh. Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon was great. He had his moments and he was awesome. I love Rocket Raccoon. Out of all of the Guardians of the Galaxy, he's my favorite because he's the most sarcastic. Star-Lord. Oh! Star-Lord. Oh! Star-Lord. Oh! Oh! So, Star-Lord, right? Um, when he came in the movie, we booed. Fuck that nigga. Like, he's just a bitch. All of this shit, out of, like, you can't tell me that, like, out of all of the possibilities Dr. Strange saw, him not freaking the fuck out wasn't one of them. Fuck that nigga Star-Lord, he a bitch. Like, he's just a straight up bitch. Fuck him. Fuck him and everything he stand for. Fuck him. Fuck Star-Lord. I, I feel the same way going into this movie as I feel coming out of it. As a matter of fact, he get kicked in the dick in this movie, and it is so, like, you, you deserved it. You deserve to get kicked in the dick in this movie, Star-Lord. So fuck, fuck Star-Lord. Fuck Star Wars. Spider-Man, yes! Spider-Man got his licks in. He did what he had to do. He was, I, I, I love Spider-Man. He's great in this movie as he is in any other movie. So you, nothing really changes from last movie to this movie with Spider-Man. So great, yay, Spider-Man. Ant-Man, he did just enough for me. Black Widow. God damn it! War Machine. So you know what, Don Cheeto? I'm gonna just applaud you for this. Because when you first came in the movie in Iron Man 2, it was a lot of niggas down on you. Everybody was saying that he not gonna replace Terrence Howard, and Terrence Howard was a better fit. I, by the end of this whole series, we was like, you know what? Go Don Cheeto. We we proud of you, bro. We I'm, I'm happy that you came through and you ended up being a good-ass war machine. Nebula. Yeah, Nebula came in this movie and did so much more than I expected her to do. Okoye, yes, 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 yes. One of the people who was just not in the fucking mood. Shuri, yes. Ah! I'm so happy with their, and I don't, I don't usually like to take it here, but I'm so happy what they're doing with not just the women in the, in these movies, but like the black women. Like they're doing them so much justice. A lot of people think that like men feel like, oh, we don't want to see women in our superhero movies. That's not true. I get tired of seeing niggas swing around all the time and doing shit. It's cool to see women on the screen doing shit. So whenever I see someone like Okoye or Shuri whooping somebody ass, stomping a mud hole in their shit, it makes me happy because it's just like, yes, this is different and I need variety. I can't just have niggas doing, you know, nigga shit all the time. Falcon, Falcon. All right, PSA, everyone. We can no longer call this man Clarence. I'm sorry. He earned his stripes in this movie. He did what he was supposed to do. Falcon is no longer Clarence. That nigga, we got to put some respect on his name because that nigga, he didn't come in on some bitch nigga shit. Like, the nigga Falcon came in. He had some lines. He jammed his shit in somebody's shit. And then by the end of the movie... If you don't understand, like, you will understand why we can no longer call this man Clarence. We gotta call him, we gotta call him what he really supposed to be. Doctor Strange. Everything that he said was gonna happen, happens. Thanos. Thanos is a fucking warrior. That nigga is like, not with the bullshit. He's, I swear, Thanos, they made him vicious in this movie. When you finally get to see the showdown with Thanos, you get to see not just how brilliant his mind is, but the length that he willing to go to whoop somebody ass. And Captain America. I wanna see niggas get their shit slapped. And that's what Captain America fucking did. Black Panther. 
A lot of people were gonna feel like Black Panther didn't have enough shine in this movie. Black Panther is new to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now we all know that Black Panther is like a, an Avenger, like he's like, you know, one of the niggas. But at the same time, you gotta realize that Black Panther is new to the Marvel Universe. Maybe not new to Wakanda, but he's new to the Marvel Universe. He had his moment in this movie, he did what he was supposed to do, but they saved this movie for the people who've been there from the beginning. And I feel like in future movies, we're gonna see Black Panther really get down with niggas. Thor! In this movie, out of all of the other movies, they show just why Thor is a god. Thor was not in the fucking mood. He was not playing around. Shit got done. Like when Thor was on the screen, shit got done. He had his moments, you know, he had, they, they took his character into a really dark place. If you can look past the humor, his character was in a really dark place. He comes out on the other side a god. Hulk, in my opinion, kind of a bitch. His record for whooping ass is like two and four. In the comic books, he doesn't even like to turn into the Hulk. That's how serious it is. He got beat the fuck up in Infinity War, and that's the end. And in this one, he didn't really get his revenge. It sucks when your favorite character gets shitted on. Hulk, until proven otherwise, he kind of a bitch. Iron Man. Look, this movie started with Iron Man. It ended with Iron Man. Iron Man is probably the best character. He goes through so much, he goes through so much as a character change from being a guy who sells weapons to being a guy who doesn't want to sell weapons to being a guy who's so anti-government to being a guy who wants to work with the government to try and uh, put a, a shield of armor around the world so that this shit wouldn't happen, which, I mean, if you want to be honest, Iron Man, Vision got duffed out. But to, to even being a guy who won't make the sacrifice play, like Cap said, to being a guy who makes the fucking sacrifice play. Everyone, like, share, subscribe to this video, blah, blah, blah. Thank you.